Hello, the book I'm going to read you today is called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. And it is by Doreen Cronin, and the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Do you see this here? This is what's called a typewriter. Before people had computers, they had to put paper in the typewriter and touch the keys, like on a keyboard and it would put the ink on the page and you could write a letter that way. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type all day long. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. This must be Farmer Brown, look at him. He does not look happy. At first, he could not believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Looks like he's going to the barn. Maybe he's trying to figure out what's going on. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Look, the cows left him a note. I wonder what it says. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Look, he's reading that note. I wonder what he'll do. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn, and now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So, the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. A strike is when you stop working because you want something. What do cows give people? What will the cows stop doing, do you think? Oh, here's the note. Sorry, we're closed. No milk today. So that's their strike. They're not going to give any milk until they get what they want. And do you see Farmer Brown's shadow? How do you think he's feeling? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to write next. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. So look, the hens have joined the cows. They're cold. You see them? And do you see Farmer Brown with his note? Do you think he'll give them the electric blankets? Hmm. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. See their note? It says, closed, no milk, no eggs. So the hens are joining this strike. They're not going to give eggs until they get what they want. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety clack, moo. What will happen next? Cows that type, hens on strike. Who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. He was very angry. Look, there he is. His hands are up in the air. He looks like he's running away. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. What do you think he'll write? Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. 
I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. There he is writing his letter. Demand means he has to have it. He wants it. And he says just because they're hens and cows, they should give him what he wants. And he does not want to give them a blanket. Doc was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. See Duck here in the note? Neutral means like he's not taking one side or another. He's not part of this argument. And then ultimatum is like you have to do it or else. Do you think the cows will start to give their milk and the hens will start to give their eggs now? The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, that means to listen in, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. You see all the animals, they're trying to hear what's going on. They were not invited, but they want to know. What do you think the cows will do? And the hens, what will they do? Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. There's Duck. Let's see what the note says. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. So they're making a trade. They're saying, if you give us our blankets, we will give you the typewriter and we won't write any more notes. Hmm. Do you think Farmer Brown will do it? Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. Do you see, look at all the animals. They all have electric blankets. See, they're plugged in. And it will keep them warm at night. But the next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. <gasps> click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. So Duck was supposed to bring the typewriter to Farmer Brown. Did Duck do that? No, look, they took it and they're writing their own note. What do you think Farmer Brown will do? Hmm. Look at the very end page. You see the diving board? It looks like maybe the ducks got what they wanted too. That was a very silly story. I hope you liked it. It was fun to read to you. Maybe you can write a letter and pretend that you are an animal and you would like something. Maybe you could pretend that you are a dog and you would like a special toy. That would be kind of a funny thing and draw a picture of that. Because do hens and cows really need electric blankets? And do they really type? No. It was so fun to read to you. I'll see you later.